Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be discussing about circular dichroism, that is CD, which is widely used in biotechnology, biochemistry, and molecular biology lab. In this session, we will also explore the five crucial application as principle. So let's first try to understand what is circular dichroism. Circular dichroism is a spectroscopic technique which is used to analyze the structure and the conformation properties of molecule by measuring the differences in the absorptions of the left-handed circularly polarized light that is LCP and the right-handed circularly polarized light that is RCP by a sample. Let's try to understand its principle. CD spectroscopy is based on the principle that certain molecule Particularly the chiral molecule, the molecule that are not superimposable on their mirror images, exhibit different absorption of LCP and RCP light due to their structural asymmetry. This difference in the absorption is known as circular dichroism. These are few of the journal steps involved in CD experiment. You have to first start with the sample preparation. Usually, the molecule of interest is dissolved in the appropriate solvent and the concentration and purity of sample are optimized for the measurement purpose. Moving ahead, the next step which is very crucial is the instrument setup. The CD spectrometer need to be calibrated and set up with the desired parameters such as wavelength range, bandwidth and temperature. Next, you also have to work on the baseline correction. A baseline measurement is performed with the solvent reference sample to account for any background absorption or instrument noise and later on you can do the sample measurement. Usually the sample cuvette which contains the dissolved molecule is placed in CD spectrophotometer. The spectrophotometer emits both LCP and RCP light which passes through the sample. The transmitted light is detected and the difference in the absorption between LCP and RCP is measured. And finally, you need to do the data analysis. For this purpose, the major CD signal is analyzed to extract information about the molecular structure and conformation. Next, the CD spectrum, which represents the variation in the absorption as a function of wavelength, is analyzed to identify the characteristic feature and interpret them in terms of molecular structural properties. Now, let's try to explore five crucial applications of CD spectroscopy. CD is widely utilized in protein structure determination. You can utilize CD for alpha helix beta sheet, random coil, and protein ligand interaction studies. You can also utilize CD for nucleic acid analysis such as double stranded DNA, single stranded DNA, hybrid structure, and also secondary structure such as hairpin and stem loops. Moving ahead, additionally, you can also utilize CD for chiral compound analysis such as absolute configuration determination and also for the anisomeric purity assessment analysis. Moreover, CD can also be utilized for protein folding and stability studies such as folding pathways analysis, protein stability under different conditions, folding intermediate and for protein denaturation studies. Last but not the least, you can also utilize CD for drug discovery and screening purpose. It can be utilized for ligand binding affinity, binding mode determination, lead compound optimization, and protein ligand complex characterization. I hope you have liked the session. If you have found the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavors. Thank you.